If you want your children to be intelligent, read them fairy tales. If you want your children to be more intelligent, read them more fairy tales by Albert Einstein. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Greetings to the honorable judges and respected audience. My name is Almira Kori Patricia from Estimamadia 26 Surabaya, ID number 111. And today I would like to share a story about a man and a seed. It was one beautiful morning when the sun was slightly shining and when the birds were chopping. And there was a man sitting in his big armchair, sadly, thoughtfully. He knew he was growing old, and so he thought it was time for him to find a new successor. His name was? His name was Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown was the CEO of a big company, and so in the next morning, he called all of his young executives to his office. Gentlemen, since I'm getting old and it's my time to step down, I'm going to choose one of you to take over my place and run this company. I'm going to give every one of you this very special seed. Plant it and take care of it and come back here. After six months, and I'll judge your plans and choose one of you. Everyone was shocked in his belief, but they were also very happy. And one of the young executives, his name was Eric. Eric was so happy, he quickly went home and rushed to his house. He then put the seed in his mother's most beautiful pots. He began to soil the seed, water the seed, and even gave the best fertilizer. He kept doing this for every day, every week, and every month. But then, he started to notice that nothing changed. Nothing ever grew. Not even a single step. But he kept on taking care of his seed. And then the day came. He was so sad. But as an obedience man, he went to his mom. Mother, should I really bring this pot with me? I mean, look at it. It's just an empty pot. I heard my colleague talk proudly about their plants. It sounded so beautiful, Mom. I'm a failure. No, Eric. She goes to your office tomorrow. You have to be brave and truthful. Yes, Mother. And so the next day, Eric went to his office, holding his empty pots. And everybody started to laugh at him. Ha 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 ha! What's wrong with your plants, Eric? Ha 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 ha! Eric was so embarrassed, he stood in the corner, holding his empty pots, staring at it, lonely, sadly. Oh God, please help me not to get fired. Because I failed this test, as he thought to himself. And not long after, Mr. Brown came into the room and began to look at everybody's plants in every shape and in every size. And then he saw Eric standing in the corner, holding his empty pots. And Mr. Brown suddenly said, Gentlemen, please stand up. Congratulations to Mr. Eric. You are now the new chief executive. Work hard to be in learners in adversity so we can build up miracles. 
Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.